Selecting payments from the left hand menu will present you with a number of payment methods depending on your own user entitlements. In this video, we will go through how to create a manual Australia domestic payment. Firstly, we need to select the funding or debit account from where the payment will be made by either using the drop down menu or the search function. Next, select the payment method. Here we'll use direct entry which is the payment method required for Australian domestic payments. Complete the payment details fields with the mandatory information. For clarification, the payment name will appear on the payment reports available in Transactive Global. The payment reference will appear as part of the narrative on the debit account and a beneficiary statement, and again on the payment reports. Lastly, the statement narrative will appear as part of the narrative on a funding account statement. Should you wish the future date of the payment, you can amend the date here, while there is also the option of changing the release time should you require. Next we can add the beneficiary details by clicking on the add icon which will create a record in the grid. Using the drop down icon and depending on your access, you will have the option of selecting a beneficiary from the list or manually creating a new ad hoc beneficiary. Under reference, you will notice that this is populated by using the same as the payment reference you entered in the details section. Add the amount to pay the beneficiary either directly in the grids amount field or by entering the details in the beneficiary payment details pop-up window by clicking on the icon to the right hand side. This also has further details that you can provide. Below the beneficiary name and the payment details, you may notice that the lodgement reference is pre-populated. This reference is the same as the payment reference which was used in the payment details screen. The remitter name comes from the defaulted name in batch defaults, but this can be changed if necessary. A payment may require information such as billing or invoice details. These can be entered under remittance information, and if required, can then be emailed to the beneficiary by checking the box below. Pre-populated email addresses are derived from the beneficiary details in the payee list. Hit save to return to the creation screen. Once complete, hit review and submit, and you'll be presented with a review screen to verify your payment, where you can either then go back and edit, or submit your payment for approval. Once submitted, a confirmation pop-up will appear with your payment ID, and also options to request a summary report, save the payment for future repeated payments as a template, or view your payment. Clicking on OK will take you to your current payment screen.